Omicron here in full force, and today the Department of Public Health reported the highest single day of cases since mid-September, coming in at more than 5,700. Over the last 24 hours, about 13% of all tests came back positive for the virus. That number also steadily growing. As for hospitalizations, there was a sizable increase over the past 24 hours, but it's not as fast as cases, which is a hopeful sign. The Omicron variant now accounts for 90% of infections in the United States. The rate of infection shows what medical experts predicted. Omicron is highly transmissible. However, studies show there may be some promising news to take from the new variant. Here's Hope Ford to explain. Like the Delta variant, Omicron spread quickly throughout the country. Unlike Delta, researchers found Omicron is 10 times more likely to infect people who already had COVID. But studies like one from South Africa show 80% of people were less likely to be hospitalized with Omicron and have a 70% lower risk of severe illness. But just because there may not be an overnight stay, Dr. Anthony Fauci says it doesn't mean hospitals won't be impacted at all. The sheer number of cases could still overwhelm hospitals as people People seek treatment to the point where you still get a lot of significant disease. One caveat for medical experts, the studies are preliminary, making it difficult to speculate on what will happen in the next few weeks. Also, there's the idea that Omicron itself is not less severe, but happening during a time where there's more preventative and treatment measures in place, like vaccines and Pfizer's antiviral pill. Early clinical trial data is that it's 90 percent effective at preventing hospitalization and death in unvaccinated populations. For now, medical experts remain cautiously optimistic based off the preliminary data and the fact that there are more tools than before to help fight the new variant. Preliminary labs suggest the Omicron variant may not attack the upper respiratory system in the same way that others do, meaning the symptoms we now associate with COVID-19 may not be what those infected are dealing with. So here are the top five symptoms of Omicron. You may have a runny nose, headache, fatigue, sneezing, and a sore throat. And then the main symptoms of other COVID variants include a fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Don't forget, it can take up to 14 days for symptoms to show up after you are exposed. So if you went out last weekend and feel fine now, it's still best to go ahead and get that COVID-19 test before gathering this weekend for the Christmas holiday.